Well, St. Patrick's Day is two weeks away, a little bit more than that. The celebration has a really cool history, and the Irish have more of a history than you've ever known about. Joining us this morning is Phil Ryan, the co-founder of Inroads Ireland Tours. And this is really interesting and almost funny. I mean, no one would ever think about fighting at purpose, <laughs> purpose purposeful fighting. and used for planned to, for people to get things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the <laughs> Irish, as you know, they've always had this bit of a, a reputation for fighting, but usually in the sort of the negative variety in terms of like bar brawls and street <laughs> fights and stuff. And, you know, definitely, that's definitely part of the Irish culture. Not so much these days, but uh, uh, definitely when the Irish first came to America, they were definitely known for their brawling and so fighting. So what did they use it for then? How does that work? Well, it, it goes back thousands and thousands of years. Um, and Ireland has a great kind of history of mythology and mm -hmm. part of the mythology was fighting and fighting sticks in particular. And even right up until today, you know, sticks are a huge part of Irish culture. Really? So what you have in your hand there is actually known as a, a this is actually a shillelagh. Uh, and these are generally what you refer to as an Irish walking stick. Like almost anyone that goes to Ireland, okay. they end up invariably seeing one of these in a, in a little trinket store or something sure. like that and they yes. go oh isn't it lovely I'll go walking in around and Ireland I've been there this. and I did I yeah. never knew anything but these are it. actually weapons believe it or not and well, most Irish people don't even realize this most of the time huh. uh, this is more of the evolved version uh, for a long time when Ireland was ruled by Britain uh, Irish people were forbidden to have weapons of any sort huh. so they came up with different ways of disguising them this is what this uh, originally would have looked like. Yeah. Uh, this was uh, part of the Irish martial arts, and I'll just demonstrate. Yeah, it's all oh. part of stick fight. <laughs> Do I need uh, to well, well, right. oh, maybe, sure. yeah. <laughs> on guard, you know? Yeah. But uh, these were sort of uh, battle sticks, and it, it was all mixed with punching and kicking and horse maneuvers as well, and mm -hmm. a very intricate sport. But generally, one of the things would happen is if you were attacking me, you might do that, and I would block it. And you'll notice there's I won't. a little. Well, you, you won't, but you'd notice there's a little strap here. Uh -huh. So as you block, you would actually swing this around Ooh. and then basically smash your opponent's knee from out and underneath them. And once okay. they were down, then they were, you know, your grandma could take them on then, you know. But, uh, <laughs> and the grandmas so, probably yeah, did. A very, very deadly weapon in the hands of the right person. And oftentimes, there's this big knobby end, which yeah. people always, always assume is just for, for holding the stick. Mm -hmm. This was often kind of, uh, they would inject lead or some sort of heavy Ooh. metal in there to make it even heavier. So you can imagine being bludgeoned with this thing, you oh, know. Oh, yeah, no thanks. And uh, over time, you know, as I was saying, they, they were banned, you know, in Ireland. So mm -hmm. they, they made them shorter and shorter so they could disguise them, they could stick them in their jackets. And these eventually became the sort of the modern batons that a lot of the police around the world Use today, ah. so these, you know, the Irish really, you know, were establishing something, you know, worldwide at this point. And really, so that's where this originated. The that's baton where they, that you see, mm -hmm. and then oh. they, they then they basically disguised them as walking sticks. They made them longer, and they would like pretend that they, you know, they oh. had a gimpy leg, but really it was for protection. Uh, that's so, really fascinating. Yeah, and in particularly in America as well, because yeah. when the Irish came here, they actually joined the army here and took part in the the Civil War, or even earlier parts of the Revolutionary War, and they've even fought in. In, uh, Afghanistan or Iraq on on the American side as well and that that history is something that you never would think yep. about these sticks yeah, it's and that's very fascinating <laughs> and every time Phil comes on the show I mean we all stop and kind of go really really those are the words so thank you so much for coming well, in thanks for having me again happy st. Patty's Day too. <laughs> yeah it's, it's a good month mm -hmm. all right see you Phil back to you guys